Yo, what is up guys? Uh, I mean, here in my garage, just bought this uh, brand new Lamborghini here. Uh, the more you learn, the more you earn. But. Back to it. I just want to thank you guys so much for all the support lately. Um, we had a couple YouTube videos hit over a thousand views, tons of comments, and it really makes me motivated to make more YouTube videos. So thanks a lot for all the support. Also, the recent plate frames, you guys, we sold out of a hundred in literally like a couple hours. So I just want to say thank you so much for that. Also, the new infinity mirrors. Let me grab this. These guys here. We sold out of these super fast. I'm super stoked. But again, thank you guys so much for the support on that. I will be restocking these. We do have a second batch coming in here, probably next week or so. And uh, I have another 50 of them releasing. So don't worry if you guys missed out on the first launch, there will be a second batch available here pretty soon. Also, I forgot to mention, I'm doing a giveaway for the last Infinity Mirror. It will be on my Instagram. Check it out, Toge Dreamers. I have a giveaway post. All you have to do to enter is be a follower, like, and drop a comment. That's it. And I'll be giving away one of these on Friday around 6 p.m. So check it out and make sure to enter before then. And also, we got the rest of the Infinity Mirror shipping out today. I'm gonna go drop these off in a little bit. And again, I just wanna thank you guys so much for the support. We sold out of these mirrors probably in less than an hour. There wasn't even a release date. I just posted them for sale and they sold out super fast. So thank you guys so much. We do have a couple stickers left over, a couple warning stickers, a couple slaps. And also we do have some uh, drive safe lanyards back in stock. Um, these are some remaining plate frames. They did sell out, but I always hold a couple extras just in case of something. Um, gets lost or broken in transit, but I may list a few of these for sale in the next week or so. I do want to show you guys this. This is a brand new product. So these are drive safe um, key tags. They're acrylic. They're pretty cool. Uh, might be hard to see on camera because they are clear acrylic. But maybe you guys can see it there if it'll focus. Maybe not. Can't get the camera to quite focus super close, but um, these are the new acrylic um, key tags. Can kind of see it from a distance, but for some reason the camera won't focus. But these will be available pretty soon. I got 200 of these made, so um, hopefully it won't sell out too fast. So hopefully you guys can uh, not rush to get one of those. But they'll be available probably in the next couple weeks, guys. All right, boys, we're gonna head over to the post office here. Get all these. Uh, Mirrors shipped out to you guys, and uh, all the mirrors, they are actually shipped out priority. So they should arrive in a, just a couple days. It'll be pretty fast. Got some spare Meisters, you know, <laughs> chilling. Again, if anyone has or knows someone with some Blitz 03s, I still need some for the rear. Preferably 18 by 10, 10 and a half. Would be great to find. I'm just not trying to pay six grand for a, a set. All right, boys. We got the Subu fully loaded up. Got all the mirrors. We're gonna head over to the post office. I uh, got some other sticker orders too. Almost forgot these. Got to stamp the international ones, but these will be going out today as well. But let's head over. Never fun uh, starting this bad boy in my little cute apartment neighborhood. It's pretty loud. But I won't do too much of that. All right, boys, just got done dropping off all the mirrors at my post office. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys have this, but my um, local Chevron is actually a post office drop off. And it's like literally 30 seconds from where I live, so it's super convenient to drop off. Let me take this mask off. The drop off package is here. Um, going to the actual post office is such like a pain in the butt. Like it's seriously, like there's so many people there, but it's so easy to just drop these off. And the people here are pretty nice. Um, so I sometimes do have a lot of packages and they're usually pretty cool with it. So yeah. All right guys, we are back at the house from the post office. And today I thought we'd kind of do like a walk around of my 240, kind of go over all the parts and also maybe tell you guys where I got these parts. I get so many questions on Instagram asking like, how do I find these super mint clean cars? Also, where do you find these JDM parts? And I thought this video would be really helpful for people who may be like newer into the car scene so it can help them maybe find parts and also good deals on cars as well. So let's get to it. Hi 
guys. This is my 1997 240SX S14 Koki. Uh, I looked pretty hard for this car. I actually had one a couple years ago. And at the time, I didn't understand how rare it was. And I unfortunately sold it. I sold it to someone in California. And he actually flew up here and had it trailered back. Sold it for like, I think it was like 10.5 or 11,000. It was a lot of money for a stock A. But yeah, I just want to go over all the parts. So this is actually an origin kit. And I believe it's the aggressive line. Uh, origin front bumper, side skirts. I actually absolutely hated the rear origin bumper. So this one is a rear super doof. The origin one, it kind of has this weird arc and kind of curves up and it just looks kind of funky to me. It just doesn't have that wide aggressive look the rest of the kit has. So we want the super doof. I really want to buy uh, a BN sport kit, but they are very expensive. I think they're like 2,500 bucks. I got this used origin kit for, I think it was 800 bucks and maybe a couple hundred bucks for shipping. Uh, I found it used. It was used, but like brand new condition. Someone had bought it, but they had never used it. So I got a pretty good deal and I don't want to actually order one from Origin. If you guys know how long it takes to order from Origin, it takes like five to eight months um, to get an actual kit. So it does take some time. All right guys, so the front of the car, this is just a JDM grill. There's not too many options for the S14 Cokies, but I just wanted a slick look. I really like how it's just blacked out with some mesh. And uh, I get questions about the headlights all the time. These are actually stock headlights. They just have some cheap tint my friend and I did. Uh, if you look close, it is an absolute terrible job. But uh, <laughs> 20 bucks, that's not bad. I got the Sylvia badge. I think these are circuit corners and I forgot what the winkers are. And then the lip, I get tons of questions about the lip. This is just some eBay, Amazon lip. Um, it's 3M taped on the bottom, but that's all that is. So nothing wrong with going cheap guys. Still looks good. This is one of my favorite parts of the car. We got Blitzo 3s. These are 18 by 9.5 uh, plus 12, I believe, with a 25 mil spacer. I got really lucky buying these guys. Uh, my friend Joan on Instagram, check him out. I'll show you guys his page really quick. We found this on the JDM uh, Japan auction. He had them shipped to me, got them in a couple weeks. If you guys are looking for wheels, seriously check him out. He will give you quite the good deals. Uh, if you're looking at buying reps, he literally can get your real wheels for pretty close to the same price. So let me show you guys this page. So he actually just got me these SSRs for the Corolla and they were only like 600 euros. They were cheap guys and they are really nice. But let me show you his page. Um, so this is Joan. He has a pretty sweet car. And he's got a lot of wheels, if you can tell. He likes real wheels. But he will seriously hook you guys up. If you guys need anything, he's got the deals. So shoot him a DM, um, let him know what you're looking for, and he can search the auctions for you and give you a super killer price. So over here, we got the Arrow Wolf. Little plastic piece over here. But these are real Ganadors. They're the carbon fiber finish with a blue lens and I got really lucky. I found these about a year and a half ago on eBay for, I think the person only wanted, I think they wanted 700 bucks buy it, buy it now. And uh, I shot him an offer for 600 and he took it. And if you guys are following the market for these, they're going for about 1500 bucks to two grand. I saw an S14 Koki one on, uh, I think it was a uh, Labo. I forgot his first name, something Labo, but he's asking 2400 bucks for S14 Koki Ganner doors. And they're super hard to get, so you can kind of really ask whatever you want for them. Also, we had the boy at Version X put in a reflective tint the other day. It's 7%, it's from Omni Tints, but from certain angles it looks absolutely crazy. How long do you guys think it's gonna take for me to get a ticket with this tint? It looks, I think, crazy cool. Oh yeah, so we got the Workmeisters. Uh, these have been my dream wheels for years and finally was able to afford these. And a guy in Seattle was actually selling them off an S14 Koki. And uh, perfect fitment for my car. I offered him his asking price because I knew how hard they are to get. And they are original. And he offered to drive them to me from Seattle. So really nice guy. And uh, still got these ones over here gonna keep these these are not for sale guys you guys always ask me if these are for sale but I'm gonna keep them 
even if I do find some rear blitz O3s, I still want to keep the Meisters. I don't think I can part with these wheels for any asking price. My interior is pretty simple. Um, I actually have a stock wheel in my car, and the reason why is I actually had two Toge Dreamer wheels, but someone wanted one of my friends wanted one for their um, husband for a birthday gift, and then Trevor, one of my best friends, wanted one, so I gave him my Night Drives wheel. But there's nothing too crazy about the car. My girlfriend and I bride wrapped the top headliner, got some bride seats. All right, guys, here's the booty shot. So this is a real 326 wing. I got really lucky. I posted on Instagram wanting to buy a 326 wing and someone with an S13 had a brand new one that uh, never been mounted. He gave me a really good deal. I think it was only like four or 500 bucks. So it wasn't super bad, but I really like the 326 badge. And then I don't know if, it, if you guys ever seen a real one, but it says 326 on the bottom here, which is really cool. So these taillights are spider taillights. I was trying to find D-Max ones, but they're really hard to get and I'm not sure the time frame to wait for them. So I just went ahead and got the spider ones. They're pretty sure they're identical. Um, I read it on the 240 forums that they are the same and they use the same manufacturer, but just label them different. Again, correct me if I am wrong, but that's what I've heard and they look almost identical. I've never had these leak or anything. I bought these on eBay for, I think, I think it was like 200, 300 bucks, 250 bucks. Something like that it wasn't too expensive. Over here, we got a Megan exhaust. As much as I wanted to go, something a little more spendy. Uh, I think this uh, muffler tip was only like 90 bucks or something. And then just had my exhaust guy do a straight pipe down there. I'm gonna angle the mirror tin on this side. But as you guys can see, it's super reflective. Can barely even see in there. Can mainly just see yourself. Wish I could show you guys better videos and photos because the video just does not do us justice for how insane the mirror tint is. And my car is on Airlift V2. Uh, didn't really want to go with 3P, didn't want to spend the money on it. But it would be nice to have Bluetooth in the newer system, but it gets the job done. So I'm still very happy having air. I've, I've uh, had coils all my life and my cars have been seriously pretty like messed up <laughs> from uh, having coils. A huge speed bump over there. My side skirts on my super were all beat up. My front bumper was cracked. It just was super sad. So it's nice to have a car and airlift so I can keep this car in good condition. So a lot of you guys might be surprised, but my 240 is actually bone stock. Stock intake, everything. And I really wanted this car because it was bone stock. It's nice to find a car that's super unmolested, that's really well taken care of. And that's the reason why I bought this car. I think at some point when the K blows, it would be, if it, if it ever blows, it's only got 140,000 miles. But if it does blow, it would be nice to, I'm not entirely sure what swap would be fun. Um, probably like a 2JZ or an RB26. Uh, maybe at some point I might just import a 240 and have one that's factory with an SR. That would also be very, very cool. But I really pride myself for having a car that's very unmolested in stock. A lot of you guys, I know you drift and you drive fast cars and that's great. But for me, I'm kind of like, I like to collect cars. And I personally like cars that are rare. You know, something, you know, this car will never be as worth as much as like a Supra six-speed manual turbo. But to me, it kind of has that same kind of classic value to me. Um, if you guys have seen the market, an original Koki is going to cost more than a swapped one. Uh, I saw a really, really nice S14 on Craigslist. I forgot what swap. I think it had an SR, but it was really clean and well done. Everything, kit, wheels. And I think the guy was only asking 11 grand for it. And their stock 240 is going for, you know, 12 to 15 grand. So that's kind of like the market right now for these cars. So, yeah. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. The owner of this car, he actually had a ton of documents for this car since um, he owned it, since I think it was like early 2000s, 2001. I thought that was really cool. I'm gonna keep all that stuff. And he actually had a box of a... So these are both the 240s I've had. I bought this black one for really cheap and then I got the red one. The guy kind of knew what it was worth so I had to pay a premium for it. But I just wanted to tell you guys, you know, if you look hard enough, you can definitely find super clean mint and stock cars. And the black one I saw on Craigslist up in Washington or Hermiston, 
Oregon, so it was literally the border of Oregon. It was pretty far away. And someone posted it for, I think, eight grand. And it was an older couple, and the lady had owned it since 1999. It was a certified pre-owned <laughs> 240, which was super crazy. And uh, the ad looked fake. The photos were so bad and so small. It looked like someone had just grabbed them off Google and put their buddy's number just to troll them. And I saw the ad and I thought it was fake. And the next day I was like, heck, it might be worth the messaging this person. So I sent them an email because it was email only. So, and they emailed me back like a huge story about the car. And then I found out it was real. I offered them, I think 7,200 bucks. I didn't want to lowball these people. I didn't want to be disrespectful. Uh, I know what the car is worth and uh, just uh, drove up, got that one for 7,200 bucks. It was bone stock besides some ugly wheels. Uh, looks like it had been repainted at some point on the bumpers and fender, but it was a super clean car and it was leather too. The red one I found in Wa or, uh, Southern California and uh, Navid, I don't know if you guys know Navid. I messaged him and he lives down there. He's a big M3 guy. So I offered him to uh, tr basically buy it or trade my M3 and to grab me this car. So he bought this for me. I think the guy was asking 11 or 12, so it was quite a premium price for this car. But um, traded my M3 for it to Naveed. So shout out to Naveed for getting that car for me. I never met the guy and he was nice enough to <laughs> front me a car and then meet up and trade. And now I got that car. So again, thanks to Naveed for uh, grabbing me this car. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to tell you guys, you know, if you look hard enough, you guys can definitely find really nice cars. And right now, 240s are really going up in price. I'm sure you guys have seen the market. Five to seven grand kind of buys you a beat up one. And three grand is basically a shell. <laughs> so if you guys see a good deal on one, you guys should definitely cop one. Because just a year or two ago, you could definitely grab an S13 or a Zenki for, you know, three to, three to six grand pretty easily. And buy a clean swap one for five to seven. But now the market is really, really hard to buy them. It's a seller's market. So when one comes up, people can really ask whatever they want for it. All right guys, that sums up the video for the S14. It was pretty short, there's nothing too crazy about my car, but I just wanna do a little video going over all the stuff with you. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop a comment.